So, this is video number two of Andre in America, so therefore I have to schedule a bunch of uploads. But this would be the last one, and uh, seeing as I can't really do anything new while I'm gone, I'm uh, just going to show off this rogue head that, for some reason, people seem to actually like. And uh, the more I look at it, the more I actually think it's kind of decent. I'm still not, like, thoroughly happy with it, but I figured it warranted, like, a little showcase, you know, just for the sake of it. So, um... Yeah, we can take a closer look at her here. Uh, her skin tone is just this straight up Vallejo gang color pale flesh, and I didn't really want to give her too sunny of a skin tone because, you know, she's very, very goth in X Men Evolution, and it's actually a, a, an iteration of Rogue that I really enjoy. My favorite will always be the comic one, or well, the animated series version, but I think Goth Rogue is a very close second. I also love her hair and just like her makeup and everything. The makeup is a little bit of a cheat because originally like the actual sculpt her eyes are very very slanted and I tried to kind of get around that by kind of shaping the eyes with the black outline and I could kind of get away with it because of her like super heavy makeup in the show and um Another thing is that the eyes on this head are sculpted very, very far apart. Like, if you were to um, just skin color paint all the black outlines, uh, you would see that the eyes are super, super far apart. They, they would have to be closer to, like, even look human. Then um, the lips are just a mix of this uh, hexed lichen game color from Vallejo and um, some white, and I think they turn out good. I, do, I don't really like overdoing lips, like painting all of the lips, like all the way down to the bottom, because then they have a tendency to look like really duck-lipped. And um, yeah, we kind of just want to go with a sort of natural size for lips. Uh, she has a little bit of that around the top parts of her eyes too, but it didn't really turn out that great. I'm not really good at applying makeup to female figures. And um, the hair also made it really difficult to paint. Speaking of the hair, it's just regular white paint for like the front bangs. And then it's a mix of this here Vallejo flat brown and some um, Vallejo flat red. And then we got this kind of reddish brown color that turned out really good. And um, the body, as you can tell from my previous video, is just um, the Cyberfrog's Heather Swain. This is j literally just a placeholder body. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even give this figure a proper body. It wouldn't be too hard, but I'm, I'm really not that happy with this head. I think it looks alright, but, you know, it's, it's not really up to what I consider my own standard. Not that I'm super good at painting or anything, but I, I'm, I'm not really super fond of it in general. But uh, yeah, just like a quick little video, figured I'd make it and um, let those of you who wanted to have a closer look at her have, well, a closer look at her. So I'll be back with more new content in um, hopefully the upcoming week when I've gotten back from the US and I've gotten rid of my jet lag and all that stuff. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for keeping my channel alive. See you guys in a bit.